Hello, it's Sarah. I'm in the back room today. This is the computer desk. And I just wanted to share how I did at my craft show with you guys. Um, it wasn't the best show I've ever had. Oh, sorry. That's very weird lighting here. Anywho, um, I, but what I did do was I put things in my Etsy store. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, I just figured I'd show you. I did different. I sold different things than I normally sell. Um, I actually sold a needle book this year. I, I, I want to say I sold a couple of them. Um, I tried to write down, I sold one canvas. I sold um, the big, oh, I know, the um, that book box that I did with the mosaic tiles on it. That sold. Uh, you know, so really kind of random. I sold more purse charms this year, and I think it was because of the display I used. I used that. It was like, an. I thought of it the day before, and it's an old pegboard that, or cork board that my son had in his room when he was a kid. So that's why it was like decorated with, um, there's like foam around the edges, like we made colorful things. Anyway, it was a great idea though, because I think people could see them better this year. Um, last year I used these like metal, um, k-cup display things they got i got them at christmas tree shops and it makes a difference like you could not see them on there they were just like oh my god probably people didn't even know what they were looking at you know um you know and it makes the difference how you display things and that's not my thing like i'm not some people have such cute displays honestly they really i mean i just the, the tablecloths i have are from i don't know like clearance at Walmart one time I saw them in, in a pinch like I have not planned a thing I think oh whatever uh <laughs> you know I'm not the businesswoman I'm I like to make the stuff for fun that's it I try to have fun during the year at the end of the year I just bring everything I've created that year and see what happens so you know I mean I made a few bucks which is good. And then I did um, what I said. I did load up. Well, I didn't load it up yet. So I'll show you. Here's, okay, this is um, my Etsy store on Etsy. I just kind of brought it up on the computer. Um, so it's called My Serenity Crafts 1-2. I guess I can zoom in on that a little bit. Um, and I've listed all the frames so far, and it's quite time consuming. That's the other thing, and those are, I know um, the Frugal Crafter has a video out comparing craft shows to online selling, and there's quite a few differences. I think she has a back and forth with someone, one of her friends that vends online, giving the pros and cons. It's pretty cute. Um, anywho, I have, let's see, oh, I've got to zoom back out again. Me and my zoom. All right. Hopefully that's good. I'm using my old Canon. All right, I will put the description, oh no, the link in the description box, but I have my frames that I've painted. So the watermelon picture frame and the pink heart picture frame. A couple of trinket boxes, three little trinket boxes are here. Um, I entitled this one Imagine. That was kind of hard to figure out what to call them just because it has Imagine up there. Tr then this is the Hope Trinket Box, and this one I called the Dragonfly, because it has a dragonfly on it. Um, then I did do all of my mosaic polymer clay frames. The two Hope ones, the two, and I named them Hope Mosaic Picture Frame. Both of them are called that, but I will, I will be sending you the one in the picture. So, Make sure you like the one in the picture, and that's the one I'm going to send you. Uh, I did. I named this one beach themed, and this one ocean themed, because this one has like a lifeguard stand. Hi, Kirby. Um, she came to see me. A sailboat. Like, there's more beachy things, flip flops, stuff like that. And this one I just named the fragment tile mosaic frame. <clears throat> so they are in my shop at the moment. That's it. That's all I have in there. I'm thinking I'm going to put my dories, my Fabra dories that I have because um, I have them. I did, I cleaned my craft room. It's so nice because it got, you know, got a little hectic 
before the show. Um, so I'm not sure. I almost really, obviously I have, um, I'm all set to make the black and red um, music themed picture frame. I want to make one of those because um, I have all the clay. I went and got the clay. I might want to go to Michael's today too because I have a 25% off everything. Um, I think it ends, no it ends tomorrow. Anyway, because um, <laughs> I need some red and green. I forgot the red and green for my Christmas tiles because I have a bunch of buttons that I want to make tiles for that and make my, I'm making my cousin Fran a big one, a big box. Yeah, I didn't sell my Christmas boxes. And that's the thing, like shipping these is going to be really easy because they're flat and light. They're not heavy. So I'm kind of steering away from listing things that are really heavy or bulky or big. So that's the problem, you know. Um, that's an, a pro about craft shows that you can bring your bigger things, your heavier things, you know. Um, and there's no shipping involved. Shipping is a pain in my butt. But all right. I just wanted to touch base. And thank you guys. You guys are amazing. All of your comments and, and good wishes, well wishes, I guess. Um, so uh, lovely of you to say. And um, I appreciate it. I really do. I appreciate that you, uh, you, you did that. So, but yeah, hopefully I'll do better with my Etsy store this time. Um, and we'll see how it goes. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.